Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another slick SketchUp lesson. Today, friends, we're going to make a rocket. So let's get cracking. Friends, of course, the first step is to launch SketchUp. There will be a link in the description. I always choose sign in with Google when I get there. Step two is to start our project with the correct measurements. We are going to use decimal millimeters. When the gentleman arrives, we're going to delete them. I'm going to have you click on the name. We're going to click SketchUp. We're going to call it Rocket, and I want your initials after it as well. Friends, we're going to be working with SketchUp, so I'm going to talk to you a lot about shortcuts. You should be using your left hand for the shortcuts, your right hand for the mouse, and every time you click, I want you to release that mouse button. Our first shortcut is going to be the letter C, which is for a circle. Click and let go. Move up on the green axis, and I'm going to tell you to type 10 and press Enter. You probably won't be able to see it real well, so we're going to do Shift Z to zoom to extents. Hit the space bar and click the outside line. You can see right now these edges are pretty sharp. We want to make it more round. You can do that by hitting the entity info. We're going to change the segments from 24 to 60, and all of a sudden our circle is pretty smooth. We can close the entity info. P for push pull, start lifting, make sure you let go, type 100 and press enter. Let's do shift Z again and check out our awesome rocket body, just like that. Friends, I'm going to remind you to click these tabs as you bounce back and forth because I use all these shortcuts. Right now the space bar is the shortcut we want so we can select. We're going to triple click, it's a pace like this, one, two, three. You'll see it all turns blue and we're going to make it a group. Make sure you click on it when you make it a group. Friends, for the next part I want to remind you, click the tab as you go between the video and back and forth. Make sure you click this and it's a group. So this is a good test of did we make it a group. If it's not, remember three clicks, right click, make it a group. Right now we're going to edit the group. Space bar, double click. So you're inside. We are going to go back to push pull, click the top, and tap control. So you're making another chunk. I'm going to tell you to make it 15. Press the space bar. Friends, with the space bar, I want you to click that top. I'm going to do O for orbit so I can see it from a good angle to make sure I've got that. And then I'm going to do S for scale. Notice hands are off. I want it to scale around the middle. So I'm going to tap control so that red dot shows up. Start it moving, and then we're going to type .01 and press Enter. Boom. All of a sudden, space bar click outside. We've got a rocket ship with a pretty sweet nose. How cool is that? Once again, friends, I'm going to remind you to click the tab. I'm also going to teach you how to hide this. Right click and hide. It all goes away. Friends, it's time to do T for tape measure. And I want you to step out 10 on the green axis. We're going to also do 10 on the red axis. We're going to do 10 in this direction on the red axis. And we're going to do 10 in this direction on the red axis. I'm going to use O for orbit and get the red axis to my right. Click R for rectangle, and I'm going to need to make a 20, 4 rectangle. P for push pull, and let's lift it up 20. L for line, make sure you're on an edge, and you can cut it off how you want for your fin. We're going to orbit so we can see it from this corner right here. P for push pull, and then go back and tap that end point so it cuts it off. Space bar. Triple click, one, two, three, so it's all selected. If it takes two times, that's fine. And this is going to be a component. Call it fin and tell it OK. We're using a component because we're going to change these all at once later. Let's do M for move, and we need to attach the middle to that end point. We need to move it to another spot. We're going to do M for move again. This time, though, we're going to tap control and we're going to set it right here. If we orbit and look at it from above, O for orbit, spacebar, M for move, we can rotate it around this spot right here, stay inside the compass and it snaps real easy, O for orbit, M for move. I'm going to just grab the corner for a moment and then I'm going to grab the midpoint and snap it where it goes. Once again, friends, we need to put it on this side as well. I'm going to grab this corner, tap control, 
put it out here, rotate it. Notice I'm going inside the protractor, O for orbit, so I can see this side again. Now I can easily grab the midpoint, zoom in, and snap it right to that spot. One last time, friends. M for move. Start it moving. Tap control so it makes a copy. I'm going to set it close. Rotate it. Staying inside the protractor. M for move. And drop it in that point. O for orbit. Check it out. Those are pretty darn spiffy. Friends, if you come over here, we can click on the glasses. Hit unhide all. And you can see that our rocket is looking pretty amazing. The next step is for us to color it. Let's move over here to the materials. I'm gonna browse for colors. I like all the options to play with. I'm gonna stay with colors today. I'm gonna make my rocket blue. So notice that painted the whole rocket in one quick step. And then here's my favorite part of the components, friends. If we do spacebar and we double click. So we're inside the component. You can pick any color for the component and boom, it paints them all at once. If I do O for orbit, check it out. It painted that side of all of them. If you want to be more efficient, space bar, triple click. Notice they're all selected, even the ones over here that are components. I can pick another color, and this time it paints them all at once, and it looks pretty awesome. Space bar, and bam, that's pretty fun. Now friends, I want to do something really cool here. Because this is a component, watch this. If we double click, so we're inside the component, and then we do triple click, one, two, three, so we've got it all, and we do S for scale. If I grab this middle one, now notice there's three here, so I'm doing just the middle one, boom, they all grow at once. That's the beauty of a component, is if we modify one, it changes them all. Still triple clicked. I'm going to do L for line. Let's cut off a section back here. I'm going to push pull. Notice I'm moving the arrow all the way over to the other side. Snapping, and bam, modified it just like that. One more modification, just because this is kind of cool. I'm going to do space bar. I want to click just on this line up here. If I do M for move and grab its midpoint, I could sharpen that just like that. Space bar, click out here, and my rocket now has a sweet custom shape that's pretty darn amazing. Friends, I got one more modification for you. Let's double click on the top of our rocket, and because we're inside it editing, Check this out. If we want to put a different color on the nose cone, we can in one click. It allows us to change inside the group, which is pretty darn fantastic. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with this lesson. Don't forget to hit save. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about SketchUp Made Simple. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.